This is Matt Filio showing you a time lapse of a portrait of Job. This is an 11 by 14 acrylic on canvas uh, painted for a book cover illustration for Russell Stendhal's book on Job. I think it started off with a very light layer sealing in the sketch and then doing a kind of grayish layer using raw or dark, a little bit of titanium white and matte medium. Slightly different approach than my usual glazing technique, going a little more opaque this time, doing almost of a grisaille technique. With that initial layer, it's several shades darker than white, so I have kind of a mid-tone to work out of. And then filling in all the shadowed areas using this kind of sepia tone color of raw umber dark and titanium white. Again, thin with matte medium, so some of the details show through. You can see I'm filling in the form based on the reference photo on the left where I modeled for that and getting just the shadows in, filling those areas and creating kind of a chiaroscuro effect. And this technique doesn't work for all portraits, but for something like this where there's a high degree of contrast, very strong lighting, it works very well. And filling in the background details using a small flat edge brush and then adding a white layer using a mixture of titanium white thinned down with matte medium, a little bit of ultramarine blue and raw or dark. So it's not too intense and that's just filling in the clothing color. And now the next step is to add highlights into the clothing using a titanium white mixed with a little bit of Indian yellow and raw sienna just to warm it up a little bit. And you can see I'm going into all the highlights. So I have a mid-tone, I've got the darker shadows and I have the highlights all working together. And now adding some of these highlights into the foreground details. Now in the story of Job, Job was a man who went through a very rough time uh, several trials of losing his family members, his possessions, even his own health. And he's sitting in an ash heap. So that's what I was painting was the details of the ash heap in the front. He's mourning his losses, crying out to God for some sort of comfort and solace in the midst of the troubles. And now I'm adding the dark shadows in, the, the, dark, the darkest values. And if you look in the reference photo, if you can see that, they're just very, very dark shadows within the folds of the fabric, uh, the shadow behind his body, all of these things will be very dark. Eyebrows, eyes, nostrils, under the chin and beard, some of the craggy areas of the rocks and the ash heap in the front, all of those things will be very dark. Bushes in the background as well. And I'm just filling them in basically with the same color. Uh, raw or dark ultramarine blue um, mixed with just a little bit of white so it has some opacity to it but again thin down with matte medium to make it very fluid and now adding in the highlights for his body and this is a similar color to what I use for his clothing but a little bit warmer um, so taking Indian yellow raw sienna added to the titanium white plus some burnt sienna in a few areas and just filling in the spots that would be receiving the light this would be strong sunlight and all of these areas I can see what to fill in because the sketch beneath so the sketch is still showing through and that gives me a great deg degree of confidence and clarity um, as I decide what to paint I'm filling in some of the details for his beard and also for the back of the neck, some architecture of the uh, muscles and tendons and veins within the neck and some cragginess of the beard and defining some of the shadows underneath his arm as well. And now working on some other areas, I'm just explaining in the video what's going to be happening next now adding some of the dark shadows within his body so we had an initial tone um, and now it's time to add a second layer to darken it and refine it 
give a greater degree of contrast between the highlighted areas and the midtone. You can see I'm filling that in. It's kind of a sepia tone of raw umber dark, and a little bit of burnt sienna, a bit of titanium white. And the interior of his arm, his right arm, is going to be a lighter color than what's on the left arm because that's getting reflected light coming from his body that's being illuminated by the sun. So I chose a little warmer color and lighter in value as well. I'm filling in some of the shadows of his neck and now working on the background and just creating texture of the clouds. This is something I was kind of invented. I didn't have a reference photo for it, but just wanted to create something with a little drama. And that's using um, ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson mixed with a little burnt sienna. Again, going over that toned background, so makes it a lot easier. Now a little zoom in on the face and creating some of the uh, contrast within his face, getting the different colors in there using warmer tones in certain spots, uh, organic red-orange, um, Indian yellow, raw sienna, all those things adding up to the right place. Adding some darker values within his mouth, and that's basically um, burnt sienna, raw umber dark, and now some coloring in his lips. So napful red crimson for that. Now adding some uh, shadows and different values within his eyes. The secondary light source coming from his body illuminating the bottom part of his concentric eyelid folds or the bags under the eyes. And then adding some luminosity within the um, wrinkled areas of his forehead. And that's a matter of going back and forth between the shadows and the highlights to get just the right shape. Now you can see I'm adding a little bit of blue behind his head. You know, I'm imagining that the blue colored sky is reflecting on the back of his head and put that color in there. And then refining around the shape of his head, matching the color of the sky to get that form exactly the way I want it. Adding some highlights in the ears and a few wrinkles within his nose as well. And then adding some of the reddish color in the lips and some shadows under his beard, redefining the shadows um, around his neck and shoulder area, that very harsh shadow. We have a, a cast shadow, surface shadow. And it's very important to get those harsh shadows, but also the good gradients as well. You can see I'm adding some of the details on his skin, the boils. And the Bible says he was covered from head to toe with painful boils. That's one of the last trials he endured. Um, and finally, at the end of the story, you find out that after suffering all these trials and learning what God was trying to teach him about his sovereignty and his plan for his life, that Job eventually repented of his arrogance and uh, his, his life was restored in many ways. He received possessions back and family members back in a sense and his health restored as well. Um, here I'm just adding highlights all over his arm, titanium white, raw sienna, Indian yellow, um, just trying to show some of the uh, highlights of his skin, maybe a sense of sweat on his body and the painting is finished here. Anguish of Heart, 11 by 14 acrylic on canvas. So here's the final painting. Again, really going for kind of a Renaissance look, you know, with dramatic lighting. And uh, you can see the tension in his forehead as he's questioning what's going on in his life, crying out to God. And he's holding a broken piece of pottery to scrape the boils off. So just a time of intense suffering. I would recommend you read the book of Job and, and really discover more of the story. But hope you enjoyed this painting. And um, if you would like to subscribe to my channel, I have more videos here like this. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this channel. And then also at realisticacrylic.com, um, I have more tutorials there. In fact, I will be doing a 
course on this painting of Job taking all the video footage you saw here. Um, here in this video it's compressed and it's in a time-lapse format but I actually recorded a couple hours worth of video that will be available at realisticacrylic.com. Not sure the, of the exact length, I'm guessing between an hour to two hours of video showing the progress of the painting and how how I did it step by step using the colors and the different techniques. So if you'd like to learn this particular technique of uh, doing more of a grisaille where you have a dark um, kind of a monotone background and adding more opaque layers on top of it and then glazes finally on top of that. I'd love to teach you that. You can join realisticacrylic.com and learn more about that as a student, as a member of my uh, monthly program called Realistic Acrylic All Access. You'll have access not only to this course when I launch it, but all my other courses as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. God bless, and we'll see you in the next one.